What's up guys, we are back on Pokemon Showdown today for another OU Live. Uh, about that time we get right back into it. And uh, today I actually have a team that I made built around Araquanid, Sticky Web's Araquanid, with um, a bunch of cool Pokemon like Incineroar. Call this team Tiger Webs. Uh, we have uh, Incineroar with the black glasses, SD3 attacks. I really like Incineroar a lot in terms of the three Alolan starters. I definitely like this Pokemon the best just because of versatility and just because it's not really as commonly used as the other two Pokemon, I guess. And Araquanid for sticky webbing purposes. It's actually a newly acquired move on this thing since Ultra Sun and Moon, which makes it a very solid sticky webber with magic coat to bounce back. Opposing hazards. This, this thing will mainly be our lead like 90% of the time, if not 100% of the time. Um, so it's uh, pretty cool. It's, it is really hard, of course, naturally with the liquidation water bubble. And still acts as a really nice sticky webber with focus sash, allowing us to get it up guaranteed almost, unless we get taunted. Um, we have Celesteela with the Flanium Z, three attacks. Uh, with the Totemize, we have Air Slash Flamethrower, Giga Drain. Hits pretty much everything except for Heatran. And we have a bunch of stuff for Heatran, so not really too worried about that. We have Metacham here, which works really, really well under sticky web conditions. Just because we have that sort of mediocre base uh, 100 speed. But with sticky webs, it makes it a lot better for us. Uh, Zygarde with the Eye Papa Berry. Pretty bulky, I guess. Still hits extremely hard with um, Double Dance. 1000 Air Z speed and the Eye Papa Berry so that um, we can coil up once and then I believe Mimikyu's player rough gets us in that range after two times and heals us up uh, a good amount. Then we got Tapu Koko, Choice Specs Koko, just a hard hitting Pokemon. Um, and of course, it just works well with Sticky Web, allowing uh, pretty much not all, like pretty much all the Choice Scarfers not to um, outrun us after Sticky Web, after we put our webs up. So that's going to be the team. Uh, let's go ahead and find a game. And we'll be right back. All right, so our first game is going to be up against some standard, standard-looking team. Uh, I'm just going to lead off here with the Araquanid. He leads up for the Coco. I'll set up webs. Um, I don't know if he'll taunt or not. He may or may not have it. Uh, he just T-bolts right off the bat. So these webs are up, which is pretty nice because if that thing is Scarf Rachi gets slowed down, uh, Greninja and Coco being slowed down is amazing. I'll just liquidation here. Uh, no point trying to predict uh, or anything like that. Um, now I believe we can go Zygarde. We don't get knocked out by any move from this thing. So I should be free to just Thousand Arrows here. He, he might just go for U-turn probably. Yeah, I mean, or he just HP Ices and sacks his Coco. So that's awesome. And get rid of that. He'll probably go Lando now and Intimidate. Um, as what we can do is just go into our Celesteela. And um, just, I, I guess we're free to Autonomize here. Nothing really stopping us except for that Stone Edge. I'm just going to Air Slash first. And um, then I'll use my Z move. I think should be fine. That does 40. Nice. I'm going to do Flinch It. So I kind of just want to go for it again and save the Z move for um, for nothing really actually. Yeah, there's nothing really we need to save it for. So I'm just going to Z move right now. Get rid of this Landorus. Uh, no need to take any extra damage. Beast Boost. Beast Boost. Coming through. Um, and we can probably just win right now. He goes T-Tar. We can just Giga Drain here. Get some health back. Which I think should be a 2 a KO as a crit. But I mean, without it, I think it's still a 2 a KO, right? Uh, Band of T-Tar, I think. Band of T-Tar. Uh, he goes Jirachi, which we are still faster than. We can Flamethrower to knock him out. That is 17%. That Giga Drain is 17. This Flamethrower will definitely take him out. Could also go Greninja here, I guess. And then try to Shuriken me. Yeah, gone. So Sticky Web really putting uh, the work here. And we should be winning this game. Uh, he goes Greninja. I can just Giga Drain now. He has a Shuriken 100%, I, I think. Um, does it take us out? Ooh, yeah. He got all, he got all five hits. <laughs> he got all five hits. All right, well... In that case, um, you know, we can just go here into Tapu Koko. Go right for uh, the Volt Switch. Switcheroo. Hit him up with that Volt Switch here. Doesn't really have an option. He just shurikens again. Crits, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Volt Switch out into um, Medicham is fine here because high jump kick pretty much gets rid of, like, everything. Scissor coming out. I mean, we just high jump kick this pretty easily. Gonna do a lot. It's not gonna knock it out in one hit, but it's gonna do a lot. 
And then we just bring in the uh, Incineroar. Knock that out. Probably could have just gone into Incineroar immediately. But I want to see that high jump kick. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I guess they didn't really want to go for it so that we can go into Incineroar. And now go for uh, an Earthquake. To knock this out. Yup, gone. Last of the Scizor. So Incineroar picks off both of these Pokemon here. Very nice. So great way to start this game. Or to start this live off. With a nice... Uh, a nice clean win with Sticky Web. So let's grab another game and um, we'll be right back. Alright, so our next game is up against a fatter team. Clef, Mega Venusaur, and Chansey. So, um, either way, I think Webs are pretty nice. Webs are pretty nice. His team doesn't really feel as threatening other than maybe the Gyarados. Leads off with the Venusaur here, so I'm just going to go right for the webs. As he goes for a Leech Seed. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Um, I'm thinking I can go Zygarde. As he goes for the knockoff. Gets rid of my Berry. I did not appreciate that one bit. Did not appreciate that at all. I'm um, going to go for the Coil. So I think my win cons are definitely, um, Incineroar puts in a lot of work actually. Incineroar puts in, a, puts in a ton of work. Let me Thousand Arrows here, he'll probably go in a Clefable which is unaware. And uh, I am unaware of what to do right now. I'll probably go into uh, Coco. As he goes for Moonblast and I can probably just Vol Switch here. He'll probably go back into his uh, Venusaur. Which uh, does give me a chance to go into Medicham. Medicham is actually the biggest win con, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but the Specs Coco here will be nice. He's probably max defense. Max defense Clefable. What's he gonna do? Let me start the uh, timer. This man is thinking, he's taking too long to click Venusaur, which is obviously the obvious play. Goes for Protect, okay. Um, interesting, <laughs> interesting play. I'm gonna go Celesteela now. As he goes Venusaur, and now I'm actually gonna switch out into my Metacham. As he goes for Knockoff, I could have actually attacked him. Which would have been nice. Um, I'm going to click Ice Punch now. Maybe he'll go like Landers or something. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. So we're able to hit this up for some clean damage. Go ahead and Mega. Ice Punch. Nice damage. Nice damage. And this thing is defensive. So I'm going to just follow up with the Psycho Cut. Protect Landers. I don't even know why <laughs> he's running that. Uh, okay. So... I mean, I'm just going to Psycho Cut again, I guess. And let's see if we can crit him. Nope. Where's that crit ratio? Leftovers Gyarados. Okay, what is this? Alright, let me go to Celesteela. He's, oh, okay, he's the subset. Sub Gyarados. Sub Protect? No, no, no. No, no. No, friend. Do not do this to me. Autonomize. And now I'm going to switch into Metacham. Um, expecting Chansey to come in. Uh, Venusaur. Okay, that's that's fine too. I can cycle cut this as well. Very nice. Um, so that's taking some good damage. He leech seeds here, and I'm just going to uh, I guess cycle cut again probably, or I can switch to Incineroar, which actually might not do that much damage. I'll, I'll cycle cut again, I guess. Heatran comes in, he more than likely has Protect, so I'm going to go Incineroar. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much most of his plants have Protect, so I'm not too surprised. I'm just going to Earthquake here, I guess. And uh, now I'm going to Flare Blitz into uh, probably the Landris or the Gyarados. Um, Landris comes in, so yeah, th this thing is gone for sure. This thing is gone. That did zero. Okay, this thing is definitely slower than me. <laughs> this thing is definitely slower than me. 
Hello? That is that that was weak. But either way, like I'm running jolly max speed, so that's kind of yeah, it kind of explains it. SD SD on this uh, Incineroar is really nice though. Um, yeah, he's gonna go Gyarados here. I'm just going to uh, hit him up with my trusty my trusty um, probably my trusty uh, Celesteela here. He just goes for a sub. I'll just air slash him. He'll probably just waterfall. That's some annoying team. Actually, maybe I'll autonomize first. No, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'll, I'll air slash first. So waterfall protects sub. Like I wonder what his I wonder what his last set is. This is some next level odd team. Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> What is this, man? Air slash. He's just sub protect. All right, I'm gonna totemize here now. And uh, just sky strike into this thing now. That's crazy. All right, there we go. Let's see some damage right now. <sighs> clean damage, clean damage, and we living out here. We are living out here. Goes to Chansey. Um, I'm okay with that. More than likely, he'll probably set up Stealth Rocks or something. Uh, that Gyarados is almost gone. I kind of wish I had Rocks on this team, but... Webs are all I need. <laughs> webs are all I need. This is probably Protect Chansey as well, so I'm not going to be surprised. Uh, if he sets up Rocks, I don't care. I'm just going to Swords Dance up. We just SD up here. Um, actually, well, I mean, he has an Unaware Clef, so... I don't think I lose anything from it though. Medicham kind of wins in the end if I can uh, predict the protects. Typical uh, ladder player loves to click protect. Okay, nice. Um, I'll just flare blitz here. Goes Clef. Nice, nice, nice. I'll get into blaze range soon too. Where's my blaze? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice blaze range. Clean, clean. All right, so Medicham gets to come in now. Medicham gets to come in. In comes Heatran. Let's go ahead and click Fake Out real quick. Sacks that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool. Goes back into Heatran. Um, I gotta play this properly. Let me uh, sack off Celesteela. Let's see flamethrowers. I'm gonna click um, Tapu Koko here, definitely. And just Volt Switch out. Get some damage off here. Um, maybe T Bolt is great too. Uh, but he'll just protect, so yeah, I'll just Volt Switch now. Okay, that's good damage. That is good damage. We're weakening this thing, which is great. Sub. Subtran? Should have known. Sub protect. Is he torment tran? No, sub toxic protect, so yeah. Just some lame set. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, Venus was at 33, but it's not gonna take this well at all. Venusaur comes out, sticky web has been planted. And um yeah, we're faster. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. Heatran comes back out. He can protect all he wants to. But I can go here into my Zygarde. And this Chansey is at 91. I'm pretty sure I can just arrows here. Did 31, which is clean. Um, probably just coil up here. Is he soft boils? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, does he have protect? He is... Toxic, Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled. Ah, nice dodge, nice dodge. Very nice. This is one team I did not want to face. I mean, credit to, so this is GG. GG. It is Zygarde. All right, on to the next one. We'll be right back.
All right, so we got our next game up against the classic Halucha Terrain Seed, Electric Seed, Coco, Coco Lucha, Coco Lucha. Araquanid is my lead. So versus this thing, uh, I think I mean, he'll fake out for sure. How do I uh, how do I deal with this thing? Uh, I think I go I go Coco here on the fake out. Definitely. Megas fakes out. Yep, fine, perfect, perfect. HP fire on the Ferret Thorn here. It's gonna come in. Landers comes in. Okay, well, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Um, but I get I get up my sticky web, which is brilliant, brilliant. And I can magic coat here on his spike, so I can get residual spike damage as well. Um, there it is, and we can go right for it again. I'm gonna get all these things up. Magic code again. Gyro balls. Okay, I'm gonna magic code again now. He'll probably spike it up here. Yep. <laughs> Have another layer, my friend. Have another layer. I'm gonna go Celestila now. As um, he goes to, into his lander. It's clean, clean, clean. I can atomize here as he just defogs. And um, I should be able to just air slash, I think. And uh, another one should not knock him out. So I'm gonna go into Zygarde. As. Um, Let's see what he does here. He goes right for the Thunderbolt. Nice. I can just arrows as he goes back into Lando. Back into Araquanid I go. He's defog Lando so I can get my webs up again. Then we can just keep playing this game. Um, not Magic Coat. Sticky Web. He goes into Metacham. I can just Liquidation here. Is he Zens? We do live. Clean. Liquidation. Good damage. Good damage. Not bad. High jump kicks, okay. So uh, at this point, um, we should be able to, I believe, just go into our, uh, let's see. Metacham can come out here and fake out, probably. I do want to keep it healthy, uh, but we, we can still do that. Just fake out this thing. Let's see what Um Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna ice punch here. Pharaoh, okay. I'm um, gonna high jump kick here. I don't think he has protect. Well, he he might actually. Actually, no, no, no. He he might have protect. He probably does have protect. I'm gonna go Stila. He gyros, okay. I could have thought like he went for gyro on my rack when he, there. He had to have had protect. He had to. A flamethrower. Um, Greninja. I, maybe I should have atomized. A totomized. Hydro dodge. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him, because now we're back to a good amount of health. Coco comes in now. Um, I'm gonna outplay him and atomize here. Clean. That's how we. That's what we do. That's what we do out here. That's what we do. Let me sky strike something. And he goes Landris. We can sky strike this. Plus two right now. Uh, Halucha comes out here, and we can air slash this thing. High jump kick should not take us out. And there it is. There it is, my friends. Yeah, I'm just gonna flamethrower. Fake out takes us out. However, we can now just win with um just go to Metacham and win. Probably just high jump kick here. Yep, take it out. And that should be game, I think. Um uh, depending on what his Coco set is. Could be Scarf, yeah, Scarf Coco. Scarfed Coco. So we can just go Incineroar. Earthquake here. We do live uh, from this thing. Goes Pharaoh. Now uh, just Flare Blitz here. Yeah, nice. Um, and he probably will take us out with the Dazzling Gleam, but he cannot take out uh, Zygarde at all uh, because he is Scarfed, so that's nice. He'll take us out here. Uh, he gets a crit, doesn't matter. Zygarde comes out. I can Thousand Arrows, knock him out. And uh, that should be game. Very nice, very nice. We got a little uh, fortunate there with that dodge from on the Hydro. But still, come through, come through. All right, on to the next one. We'll be right back. All right, we got our next game. Up against a uh, another Kokolucha squad. So uh, leading off here with the Sticky Webs, of course, once again. Uh, you two. You too, you too. 
Should be a, a very interesting team to deal with here. Um, he does lead Lando, so I do want to uh, prioritize with the Sticky Web, I think. He does U-turn. Probably expecting Magic Coat. So, yep, there we go. Got the Sticky Webs up. And um, this is probably Defog Scissor, I guess. So I probably should want to play around that a little bit. I'll just go for Sticky Web here. Yep, he is uh, Defog. I can do this all day, probably. I can do this all day. Bullet punches. Um, my defog again. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep him up. A liquidation here, actually. Now let's take you up again. And again. And I'll just keep going. Like he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna get them off. <laughs> he's not. He's definitely not. Keep going now. He's not getting these webs off. They're staying. My friend, they are staying. Go for roost. He really wants to outplay him. Okay, nice. So they're they're on the field. They're on the field. They're they're not going anywhere. <laughs> that's how that's how you do that. That's, that's a web control for you right there. That is some web control. Um, I'm gonna go here into uh, Stila and um, just click. Probably just I guess just Sky Strike immediately if I want. Weaken this thing as much as I can. Uh, maybe he'll go Coco, actually, so that'd be nice. Go Scizor. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah, nice. We'll get off a clean amount of damage on this. Very nice. And just Flamethrower here to win, uh, to beat this thing. Yeah, so Sticky Webs are going to be on the field permanently. Very nice. Goes into Coco. I can probably just switch into Zygarde here. Uh, actually, Zygarde is pretty good. Zygarde's pretty good, but I definitely need the other members of my team, so I'm gonna go Zygarde. As he Dazzling Gleams, and this is Specs Coco, so I uh, will want to switch out. And probably just Atomize here, I think is fine. He goes Magirna, I can probably just Flamethrower for some damage. Uh, but then again, actually, I, I go Zygarde, he'll probably Volt Switch. Yep, nice, and I can now just click uh, 1000 Arrows. Get some nice, nice damage off. Ice beams. Um, I can now just switch into Medicham. His Landers is at full. But I don't know if he'll want to switch out. No point over predicting, I guess. I, I mean, I could just Ice Punch here, but yeah, I, I don't know if he'll want to switch out or not. Probably best to just high jump kick. He just goes Landers. And I miss. Wonderful, wonderful. Ah, that's what I wanted. That is just what I wanted. <laughs> so that's not... <laughs> I definitely would have 2-8 KO'd if I high jump kick plus ice punch. That's all I needed. It's it's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, he, he's not controlling it. And he's, uh, he's scarfed. Yep, he's scarfed. Um, yeah, I mean that high jump kick damage would have been enough, I guess. He probably just wins with Earthquake, though. Yeah, that, that's a Scarf Landers right there. Um, we do freeze it, but there's not really much much else. I mean, I just high jump kick again. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not really. Uh, he goes Landers. He can just U-turn out here if he wants. Um... I think I'll just click, uh, actually Coco's pretty fine. He's not going to Earthquake, I don't think. I don't think he's going to Earthquake. I just got Coco. Yeah, he turns out into, um, probably Coco. Yeah, there's the Coco. Um, I could just Vol switch out here, probably. 
into uh, Incineroar. Full switch out. Yep, Incineroar can come in here. Um, he does full switch out himself. No, we, we still have a good chance to win, actually. We, we definitely still have a chance to win. Landers comes in, and uh, yeah, we just click Flare Blitz. U turns out perfectly fine. Dazzling Gleam is what we lock ourselves into now, for sure. For sure, for sure. Coco, yep, we bring in uh, our own Coco. Dazzling Gleam will knock him out for sure. All right, that's out of the way. Could it not matter? We are a choice specs. Brings in Landris. I'm a Dazzling Gleam here. Yep, nice. Get another knockout here. So he's going to be sacking uh, probably Greninja. That is actually really good. He could also sack a uh, Halucha here, actually. That could be that could be favor favorable for him. But let's see what he does. I definitely need to get lucky with the uh, Shuriken rolls for sure. Yeah, we definitely have a we definitely have a chance to win. Yeah, I, I think we do. I think we do win this actually. I think we definitely win this. Um, he has to sack uh, probably Halucha here, right? Or Gre okay, well he sacks Greninja, so that's out of the way. Back in Orlando, he goes. Um, doesn't give him again, and uh, yeah, now I just go into my Celestila. Go right for the Atomize. And uh, I do believe we just Giga Drain and win. Get our health back up all the way. Yeah, now we just Air Slash here and win the game. Yeah, nice. And I don't think that Landers can beat us. Uh, I think I can just Giga Drain. GG. What do you go for? The explosion, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. So we had to make a couple uh, aggressive plays there to uh, win the game. Uh, but very solid, very solid game. Let's grab another one and we'll be right back. All right, so our next game up against a Bulu squad and uh, Webb's of course looking pretty nice. Defog Mew more than likely or Landorus, I guess. So let's just lead a Raconid. Once again, let's get a rack on it here. So that's Z Celestila is putting in a lot of work. I'm liking that a lot. As I was testing, uh, Incineroar was putting in a lot of work too. With the with the black glasses, it powers up the uh, the darkness lariat. Powers it up a lot. All right, in comes the Landris. Let's just um, magic coat here, predicting rocks. Yep, U turn. Okay. I mean, I don't really mind. I'll, I'll get my webs up soon. Probably should have just gotten up webs, but he doesn't really have a lot of super fast threats, I guess. Yeah, we can get up webs now. Uh, easily. And, um... Not sure what set he is, actually. Not sure what set he is. I'm in a liquidation here, predicting, uh... I don't know if he'll go for T-Bolt again. Yeah, he does. Okay, so Medicham's high jump kick might just take it out in one hit because it might. No, I'm, I'm going to go Incineroar actually. Incineroar is faster. It is faster. It will hit him up with a Flare Blitz. Goes Titar. And uh, yeah, here we can probably just go Zygar on his Stone Edge. Or this could be Megatar and uh, I could be in a heap of trouble. But no, I think Zygarde is fine just because it's not too useful in this matchup due to the fact that he has a Bulu and a Lando. Uh, he goes Mew, so that's nice. I can just switch out here into Incineroar as he Will-O-Wisps. Okay, so I'm going to SD up here or just attack for some damage. He defogs. That's fine. I can uh, Flare Blitz here. Follow up with a nice little Flare Blitz as he goes Landorus. 
And uh, this thing is an offensive lander for sure, for sure. Offensive as anything. Um, I can now just uh, probably switch out to Celestila. He sets up rocks, but this thing is an offensive lander, like I said. I'm just going to Totemize here. A Totemize lander kind of wins too. I'm going to Giga Drain now. He probably won't expect that. And if this thing is Scarfed, we beat it 1v1. And he's not Scarfed. What is he? Scald. Spec skilled you. Okay, cool. You can probably just Giga Drain again. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. So he's probably going to T-Bolt. I'm going to go to the, into my Zygarde and just click arrows. Get a clean amount of damage. <laughs> it, just, it just got destroyed. <laughs> Good lord, Zygarde. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So nice. Very nice. Uh, here, we're just going to... Like here, like what, what I probably could do is I could save this thing. I could probably save this thing. And just go Incineroar because rocks are up and I don't really have a way of getting rid of them. He just superpowers. Um, this could be banded. So I'm going to go here into my Medicham and click Ice Punch. This Mew is pretty much weakened, so there's nothing really he can do about it. He doesn't really have a switch into this thing. Um, he goes Keldeo and uh, that's not fun at all. I could have just Psycho Cutted. But yeah, I want Medicham healthy, so I'm going to go Zygarde and uh, get myself burned. And just Thousand Arrows here. I mean, I could also E-Speed as well. But it's not really doing me much anyways. Uh, yep, and we go Coco and we click a Dazzling Gleam, which uh, should do a decent amount of damage to whatever switches in. Goes into Bulu. Yep, and this thing is 2 a KO'd. This is probably Banded Bulu, or it could be Scarf too. All right, nice, nice. We got rid of it. Ooh, I like that. That right, now I, I think we just win, don't we? This could be scarf though. Scarf. Wait, stealth rock. Did he? Uh, did he click? Oh, this could this could probably be scarfed. I'm gonna click Celestila. U turn. Ah, uh, good play. Good play. Good play. Actually, we, we can still win this. Um, Titar is at 73. Oof, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to go Medicham. I need to save that thing for Earthquake. Um, just Dazzling Gleam here. Well, we still have a chance to win for sure. Sacks off the Mew. Let's go back to Celestila. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. All right, now we can just atomize here. Goes T-Tar, just Giga Drain. Um, and I think we do lose, unfortunately, to Scarf T-Tar with rocks. Scar oh, sorry, Scarf Lander with rocks. Yeah, it, it's Scarf Lando. It definitely is Scarf Lando. It has to be. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, but let's grab another one and we'll be right back. All right. Our next game going to be up against a uh, mega Alakazam. I think outside the box squad. So we got a leader Raconid and uh, we got to, uh, we got to magic code. I think we got to magic code. <laughs> And we get to set up our sticky web here. Nice, 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 nice. Hit him with his own taunt. Now I'm going to go Coco so that he cannot defog whatsoever. And we can Moonblast. Alright, we can Dazzling Gleam here. Actually, no, we're going to click uh, HP Fire on the uh, Ferrothorn coming in. And get rid of this thing for some nice damage. Good damage, good damage. Ah, very nice. And now we can just click, uh, oh, now we're going to click a Raconid. Go right for the liquidation. If this is Coil Zygarde, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble, but I think we're fine. Finny comes in. Nice, nice, nice. I'll, uh, liquidation again. Defogs. Cool. I'm going to magic coat now. 
Actually, no, I'm gonna web up again. Hold on, I'm gonna web up again. <laughs> I'm gonna web up again. I right, watch this play, watch this play. Peep this play. All right, check this out, check this out. It's time. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a blunder here with the with the magic coat. Ah oh, no, unfortunate. Did not work. Did not work. Ah, oh, I thought I could uh <laughs> thought I could stunt like him. Unfortunately, I'm not at that level yet, but I'll get there. Blunder's the one with the badge, not me. Blunder's the one with the trophy. I mean, he got the smoke gun trophy. I got the three PO trophies. So whoever has more, <laughs> you guys decide. Let me giga drain up my health here real quick get some health back let me slurp up some health um actually i'll autonomize again because why not kartana comes in and we are faster than this thing guaranteed we are guaranteed to be faster ferrothorn yep get a beast boost get that beast boost and we can sky strike something now which is nice um, there's nothing really that can stop us here at this point, I think. Assuming that we can knock this out. I mean, we're at 516 special attack. Let's see if this works. And uh, gone. Gone. That's probably GG, I think. I would say. Probably GG. Alakazam comes in. Um, we can air slash here. Probably no point in clicking Giga Drain. Air slash will definitely knock him out. He gets a beast boost as well. But 1 H. Hello? 1 how how no <laughs> no that wasn't supposed to happen um i'm gonna go medicham and fake out now i guess goes finny uh we can cycle cut here how did he live at one hp literally one hp Maybe I should have Giga Drain then, because I would have lived the Shadow Ball. <laughs> I definitely should have Giga Drain then, but I thought he'd probably go for like Focus Blast or something. Uh, goes back into, meta into his Alakazam, so I'm going to sack a Raquanid here. Traces my Pure Power though. That's one way to use a physical Alakazam is to trace Pure Power. And then run like <laughs> Cycle Cut. Kartana comes in. Okay, okay. I see you. I know your Choice Scarf, but I see you. Let me get my webs up. Let me get these webs up. Leaf blades, okay, fine. Plus attack. I can go Incineroar now and just click uh, Flare Blitz. Can work, probably. It definitely will. Get rid of that with an ooh, nice critical hit, 100%. HP gone. Got him, got him. All right, so Alakazam comes out here, and uh, we just go, we just go, we just go Zygarde and E Speed. No, actually, we, yeah, we, we e speed here. Knock him out. Last is Kartana, which he'll have to lock himself in the Leaf Blade if he does. Incineroar takes him out if he locks himself in the Sacred Sword. Metacham will take him out if we lock ourselves in. Or if we can actually hit our high jump kick. Leaf Blade. Oh, and our Aya Papa Berry. Oh, and the Aya Papa Berry. And the Aya Papa Berry. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Let me e speed. One eight. Ooh. Let me let me let me let me finish this off with an incineroar. With a nice little uh darkness lariat. Resisted? Ah, gone, gone. GG. Alright, let's grab another game. We'll be right back. Alright, so this will probably be our last one here. So we got some nice standard team once again. Nothing special about this guy's team. Look at our team. Look at our team. We got Tiger. We got Tiger. We got Spider. We got Tiger, Spider, and Snake. And uh, Rooster. And another Rooster. And another, and another uh, I don't know, a Fighter. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let, me, let me start a timer. And we got Timer too with us. What's popping, guys? You got... Lord Envy here, featuring timer. Started the timer. All right. Choose your lead. It's going to be Landers. It's going to be Coco. It's going to be Lopunny. It's going to be uh, one of those three predicted. All right. So now we're going to set up our webs here. If he taunts me, then I'll have to switch out. Vol switch. Okay, clean. So we got our webs up, which will slow down the Lopunny and the Coco and the Kartana. 
Landers comes in. Um, just gonna magic coat here, I guess. Better not be defog, I swear. Alright, there we go. Nice. Uh, now I can do is just go into um, Medicham, which, I mean, this thing is Stealth Rocks for sure. 100% Stealth Rocks. I'm gonna Ice Punch here. He goes to Tangrowth. I don't know why that was the switch in, but he's Rocky Helmet. So he, I mean, he can't put me to sleep or anything. So I'm gonna Cycle Cut so that I don't take a recoil. He Leaf Storms that get. Hello? No! What? Hello? Anyways, back into Incineroar I go. And I'm going to go sell a Steela here, predicting Landers to come in. And he goes for knockoff. What in the world? What are these Lord plays? Let me just, <laughs> let me just air slash, okay? Good B. Into Coco. So I'm going to go Zygarde, I guess. I don't really have another option. Yep. There it is. All right, so uh, I guess I just arrows here. Like, what's my other option? I I don't have any other option. I gotta just I just gotta click arrows. I just gotta do it. Like this is the kind of guy where I just gotta do what I gotta do. I right, arrows here. This thing is offensive. This thing is offensive, and I want it gone. Swords Dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's not good. That's not good. He's Continental. Save me, Coco. Save me. Save me, my friend. Do not let this thing destroy me. But I know, I know what he is now. I know what he is, so I'm I'm pretty safe. I think Zyger can actually win. Oh, that oh, welcome back, welcome back, Coco. Didn't know you were uh, in the neighborhood. Nice. Magirna coming out. I'ma go into my Tiger friend. Flash cannon. Nice. I can flare blitz now. You got no fire switchins. You got no fire switchins. And my Coco is faster than your entire team. Lopunny comes in. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely brilliant. How do I win? How do I actually win this though? Hmm. I feel like I'd want to keep Incineroar, but then again, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to keep him. High jump kicks. I maybe, maybe I should have just. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Zygarde. And I'm gonna click uh, E speed here to knock him out. Goes into Landers. We're just gonna coil up. Coil up. D dance up. You know the drill. It's time. It is time. I want my I want my berry activated real quick. Berry activated? Berry activated. Let's go. Let's knock him out now. Let's knock him out. Gone. I think that's game. I think that is game. I think that should be game. Oof. Sacred Sword. Not enough. Not enough. Not today. GG. Hello? Hua Chen Yu, come back. Come back. Let me say, come back. Come back, friend. Hua Chen Yu. Come back. Anyways, that's game. And that's going to be the end of this live. So I hope you all enjoyed. Had a fantastic, fantastic time playing Pokemon today. And uh, I enjoyed this team a lot. I hope you did as well. We did really well with it. And of course, not every team needs Stealth Rocks, as you guys saw from this uh, from this game. I know, I, I believe Blunder quoted that in his Stealth Rocks video, that every good team needs Stealth Rocks. This is not true. I'll tell you what it, I'll tell you what is true though. Every team needs at least Rocks or Spikes, or Sticky Web, or Rocky Helmet, but not all of them. 
together. Hope you guys enjoyed this live. Let me know what you guys thought. And uh, yeah, I will uh, try to upload another one relatively soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.